hello students good afternoon to all of you this is a video for your chapter the story of village palampur from your economics section student this is a chapter the story of village palampur is related to rural areas and the village name is an imaginary village here the story introduces us some basic concepts relating to production and the production that is related to our village areas here it is said that farming is the main activity in the village palampur and also along with farming there are other activities that is manufacturing dairy transport etc people in the village palampur uh, mix their own and items they also sell milk and they also use transport means to earn their living these productions activities uh, requires various types of resources natural resources man made items human efforts money so through the story of palampur you have to learn the various resources to produce the desired goods and service in the village now the introduction of this village palampur is that it is a very well connected village with the the neighboring village raiganj that is far 3 km far from palampur with a all with the road connected and the small town that is related to palampur is sahapur in the towns and the village you will get different type of transports like that bullock cart tangaj bogis body bogi ji means wooden cart that is drawn by buffalo uh, they carried it by these vehicles jaggery and other commodities uh, they uses motorcycles jeep tractors truck etc means to say that all these things was that palampur is a developed village there the village in this village has about 450 family total family members in the village is 450 and different type of castes live there now in the village there were 80 upper castes the total castes upper caste number is 80 who has majority in the half land in the village and in one side of the <coughs> <coughs> in one side of the village the scheduled caste family also lived they were one third of the total population the house of those people were made of mud and straw there in the village electric connections were also spread everywhere tube wells were also in the village to irrigate the fields and is used in various type of small vegetables palampur in the village of palampur has two primary schools and one school high school there were also primary health center one health center is run by the government and the second is a private health center 
where the treat peoples where the sick people are treated these are the descriptions about the village of palampur uh, shows that the village of palampur is well developed village uh, full of roads transport electricity electricity irrigation schools health centers everything now students i have told you that this is an imaginary village uh, to show the production so the development and now you know that in india farming is more production activity and other production activity is non farming uh, non farming activity that is including with manufacturing transport and shop keeping the people are rest of the people in the transport and shop keeping and manufacturing to earn their living now the next heading is organization of production organization of production there are four requirements for production of goods and service to produce good and service there are four requirements for production of goods and services the first requirement is land land se matlab hota hai natural resources like that water and forest minerals second is requirement is labor labor that is people who will do the work and some production also activities required the labor is the labor requires both type of people who are physically strong and who are mentally strong so in this section labor uh, the physical labor also required and also the labor who are uh, having techno knowledge of technology they also require for it the third requirement is physical capital physical capital are divided into two parts fixed capital and working capital <coughs> you see tools machine buildings uh, these are very simple tools such as farmers plow to plow to hard machines as a generator turbines computers etc can be used in production for many years are called fixed capital are called fixed capital secondly raw material and money in the hand तो प्रोडक्शन रिक्वायर्स अ वैरायटी ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल सच एज द यॉन यूज्ड बाय द वीवर क्ले यूज्ड बाय द पॉटर सम मनी इज ऑलवेज रिक्वायर्ड इन प्रोडक्शन टू मेक पेमेंट्स एंड बाय अदर नेसेसरी आइटम्स रॉ मटेरियल्स एंड मनी इन हैंड आर कॉल्ड वर्किंग कैपिटल तो स्टूडेंट्स जो चीज टूल्स मशीन बिल्डिंग जो भी लंबे समय तक प्रोडक्शन में हम प्रोडक्शन में लंबे समय तक यूज किया जा सकता है वो फिक्स्ड कैपिटल होता है और रॉ मटेरियल्स और मनी इन हैंड जो होता है रॉ मटेरियल्स एंड मनी इन हैंड आर कॉल्ड वर्किंग कैपिटल ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट द फोर्थ रिक्वायरमेंट द फोर्थ रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विस यू विल नीड नॉलेज एंड एंटरप्राइज टू बी एबल to put together land labor and physical capital and produce an output either to use yourself or to sell in the market this these days is called human capital human capital we shall learn more about human capital human capital in the next chapter hume यहाँ पे जो ह्यूमन कैपिटल होता है उसके बारे में आपको बता रहे हैं क्या होता है तो लैंड लेबर फिजिकल कैपिटल इन सब को एक साथ जब हम ले लेंगे तो ये सब मिलकर के मार्केट में जब आप उसको सेल करेंगे तो आपका 
ह्यूमन कैपिटल कहा जाएगा ह्यूमन कैपिटल अब इस दिस फिगर यू कैन सी इन द फैक्ट्री विद सेवरल लेबरर्स एंड मशीन्स इन दिस फिगर यू कैन सी द लैंड लैंड से मतलब हो गया कि यहाँ पे नेचुरल रिसोर्स जो यहाँ फ्यूल वगैरह है वो सब नेचुरल रिसोर्स लैंड हो गया दूसरा लेबर लेबर्स मतलब पीपल है जो पीपल यहाँ पे काम कर रहे हैं तीसरा यहाँ पे फिजिकल कैपिटल तो फिजिकल कैपिटल फिक्स कैपिटल भी यहाँ पर है वर्किंग कैपिटल भी यहाँ पर है फिक्स कैपिटल में देख सकते हैं यहाँ पर टूल्स है मशीनस है सब फिक्स कैपिटल होगा और वैर वर्किंग कैपिटल में मनी है तभी तो सारे मशीन्स लगी हुई हैं रॉ मटेरियल्स रॉ मटेरियल्स होगा तभी तो वहाँ से नए प्रोडक्शन होंगे वो सब चीज़ वहाँ पर है और फिर ह्यूमन कैपिटल तीनों को मिलाकर ये सब जो है प्रोडक्शन होगा मार्केट में जो सेल होगा वो हमारा ह्यूमन कैपिटल होगा तो दीज आर लॉ थिंग्स आर हियर इन दिस फिगर एवरी प्रोडक्शन इज ऑर्गेनाइज बाई कंबाइनिंग लैंड पर फिजिकल कैपिटल एंड ह्यूमन कैपिटल विच आर नोन एज फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन इन सारी चीज़ों को फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन कहते हैं एज वी रीड थ्रू द स्टोरी ऑफ पालमपुर वी विल लर्न मोर विल लर्न मोर अबाउट द फर्स्ट थ्री फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन friends now this is clear to all of you that the, the four requirements for production of goods and services land labor physical capital that is included with fixed capital and working capital and the last is human capital these are the requirements and last finally factors of production these all things every production ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय कंबाइनिंग लैंड लेबर फिजिकल कैपिटल और एंड ह्यूमन कैपिटल दीज आर कंबाइनली कॉल्ड नोन एज फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन